So this video is going to be about Giant and my history with the brand and the Giant Cold Rock from 1994 I restored. Although I have to admit it wasn't that big a restoration considering the fact the bike was in almost perfect condition. So Cannondale might have been the very first bicycle brand I wanted a bike from, but Giant was actually the first bike that came into the household I grew up in. And it wasn't my bike, it was my brother's who decided to buy a Giant X 2000 from 1994. I believe it retailed for 750 guilders, which is 340 euros, which would be about 660 United States dollars today. So even with the rampant inflation, that's an okay price for a three times seven speed bike. It's actually a hybrid bike running 700cc tires, not 26 inch. And they're about as perfect as can be for a vintage gravel bike build. So it's definitely part nostalgia that I like vintage giant mountain bikes. The other reason is that especially early 90s giant mountain bikes have some of the best color schemes you could ask for. Um, normally I like a clean single color frame, but those 90s giant frames with rigid forks epitomize what vintage color schemes are all about. And my personal favorite is the 1991 Giant Tarago. It's just absolutely stunning. So it's no wonder a lot of people turn to this brand to make great vintage builds. The Giant Cold Rock I restored was meant for my daughter, but unfortunately it turned out to be too big for her and she didn't really like the pink, but that's okay. I guess I saved another bike, got a couple of videos out of it and sold it off to somebody who was probably just looking for a cheap bike, not a, a vintage uh, mountain bike. The bike itself was in near mint condition and cost next to nothing. I believe I paid 20 euros for it because the seller had ruined the shifter trying to fix it. It had a really nice Shimano 400 LX Biopace crankset powering 3x7 speed setup. And the bike was dirty, but a good cleaning and frame polishing really brought it back to life.
Giant doesn't have the vintage allure of, let's say, Cannondale, a Specialized GT, or even Trek, and have something of a low quality budget reputation, but their affordability has made many good examples available today for a fraction of the price it would cost you to pick many other bikes. And not only their rigid steel and aluminum frames are a joy to behold, they also have made some extremely flashy carbon bike I guess all I'm saying is the next time you are thinking about a bike restoration project, maybe this video will make you look up some of those great looking bikes from the Taiwanese giant, pun intended. So I hope you like the video and let me know what your favorite brand for vintage mountain bike restoration is. And I hope to see you for the next video. Bye for now.